Today we're going to tear down a gadget that I found on the sidewalk when I was out for a bike ride. I've never seen one of these before. I had to look it up, but it uh, didn't take much research to find out that the device that I found is actually one of these radio monitors that monitor radio stations for the ratings. And I guess somebody dropped one when they were out for a walk and uh, I found it. So let's take it apart and see what's inside it. I found this little device at the side of the road and, and at first glance it looks like a pager but it's actually not a pager this is a this is a Nielsen meter okay it's used by the Nielsen research people and what this is this is what's called a radio TV meter what they do with this is they recruit usually families and they issue these units to them and people carry them with them throughout their day and what it does is it receives signals. This one's obviously dead. Somebody lost it, so I don't know whether it just needs to be recharged or whether it's actually got a problem. But I found this thing. Just was out on a, on a bike ride, and I just happened to, to uh, be stopped at an intersection. And I just happened to look at the ground, and I see this thing lying on the side of the road. So I picked it up, and uh, I figured maybe we'll take this thing apart and see what's inside one of these things. But typically what they do is they issue these out to people that are on a, a media panel and what this does is I've done a little bit of research on this it's called a PPM3 PPM 360 and if you want to know about more about it you can you can look it up it's a PPM 360 meter I've, I've, I've put some tape on here just to cover up the barcodes because I don't know who this belongs to and uh, you know they it, it may even be still active I don't know but uh, anyway, I've, I'm just blocking out the serial number on it and the, uh, the IMEI because this has, got a, this has got a cell phone in it as well. But anyway, I looked this thing up to see what it is. And basically, the, uh, what, what it does is um, the radio stations and TV stations, they broadcast a subaudible tone in their program material and this thing has a microphone in it and it picks up the tone and it logs what station you're listening to so it's all for ratings so back in the old days they would recruit families or recruit individuals and you actually kept a log book and they quite often gave you a, a meter that you had sitting in your house and when you watch TV you would push a button that would indicate who was watching and you would write out the show on your logbook and you'd keep a manual log and then you mailed it into them and that's how they that's how they did the ratings well it's all automated now um, something like this picks up signals that are hidden in the program audio and reports back and this is how they figure out one of the ways they figure out what radio stations are being listened to and what uh, television stations are being viewed and what programs this is one of many ways with digital cable if you've got a digital cable box it's pretty easy to figure out what you're watching because your your digital cable box will report what programs you're watching on that and if you've got a if you if you're listening to streaming services such as uh, TuneIn or or Spotify or any of those other uh, services they'll know because you've got a two-way device same as if you're listening to the radio through a smart speaker such as an Alexa or Google whatever that thing is Google have but uh, they'll know because if you say Alexa play whatever it's gonna be logged this is more for broadcast so if you're listening to a radio in your car or you're listening to radio at home or you're watching the TV or a TV with an antenna <clears throat> this will log those stations which don't have an interactive uh, component to them so I'm just gonna see how this is. I'm gonna open this thing up and we're gonna take a look inside it and then I'll decide what to do with it Maybe contact the company and tell them I found a meter. Because there's a phone number on here. It says if found, call a phone number. Actually, that was on another sticker. I've removed it, but I've got a number for it. Anyway, um, looks to be security bits. So let's go and use my new little security bit to, and see what type of bit. Looks like a small star. So let's see if I've got one that's small enough. This one. Hmm. 
Nope, next one up maybe. The little mini Torx. That might be the one right there. Yep, that's the one. Okay. We use the manual driver bit for this. Now, let's see how this thing opens up. There's only one screw. So oh, there are uh, there's a SIM card in here. Let's remove the SIM card first, and uh, I'm covering up the number on it, obviously for obvious reasons. But we'll remove the SIM card. It's just a standard, a standard type SIM card. It's a generic SIM card. It doesn't have any branding, so it doesn't it doesn't indicate which network it's on. So it could be on any of the networks, but it's just a standard a standard SIM card. And uh, let's uh, open this thing up and see what's uh, what's in the rest of this unit. And yeah, I am going to put this thing back together because I'm going to try and uh, get it back to whoever owns it. <clears throat> I'm just curious to see what's inside it. I know you guys are too. I'm curious to see what's inside one of these. I've never seen one of these things up close and personal before. Generally, people that are members of the panel don't talk about it because they're usually uh, they usually have to you know sign an NDA, and not reveal. If they're involved. Well, this one here I don't even think works. I see signs of corrosion right here on the circuit board. So this thing here is shot. That's probably why it was sitting at the side of the roads. It maybe it shorted out on someone and they threw it out their window or or, or some kid had it and dropped it. Uh, more more than likely that's the scenario that uh, that this some that someone had this clipped to their clip to their uh, their belt or something and it. Uh, it fell off but it uh, looks like it's been wet if you look down here right it's been wet the circuit board has been wet so uh, this thing probably does not work but I still want to see what's inside it so let's see what we can pop out the circuit board are there screws holding this thing down let's just look and see if there's any more screws don't see any together. Hmm. So this is the in internal guts to this thing. Uh, that looks to be a microphone of some type. And there's this is another, I don't know what the heck this is. Is this a microphone as well? Looks like that could be a microphone. That a Actually, that's probably a motion detector to detect if the unit is being worn or not. Or is that a buzzer? That looks like a microphone there. I don't know what this is. That's that's either a microphone or a buzzer of some type. It's got a liquid crystal display on here. With a button on the front here.
And obviously this is the radio portion over here. For this. It's got a cell radio built in because there's a SIM card that goes here. There's not much to this, is there? Uh, there's a antenna in here somewhere probably. I don't know where that is. Is it in the back? And the antenna is more than likely right up there in the top. As you can see there's a there's a connection here. So that's more than likely the antenna. Standard USB jack for charging. I would assume that this is probably a charging there's probably a charging port here as well. Uh, go, maybe goes into a dock of some type to recharge it. But uh, interesting little device. Anyway, there's not much to this thing, <clears throat> not really much to see. I just kind of a curiosity as to what's in this unit, as you can see, not much. Um, corrosion from water has gotten into this, shorted it out, more than likely. That's probably why it was dead, shorted out. Anyway, that's, I guess, about all I can show you on this thing. It's a pretty, it's a neat little device, though be interesting to know how they signal this that's the question is I know it's done with subaudible tones that are masked by the program audio so there's there's tones that they that they put in with the program audio that is masked by the audio so you don't hear it kind of like how um, act track and mp3 they throw away a bunch of the music that you don't hear and encode the music that you do so there's there's spectrum in the audio where information digital signals can be hidden in the program audio as subaudible tones and this thing detects them I don't know whether it detects them through that or through this the, 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 either one of these could be a microphone looking at the front panel a button just fell off Looking through the front panel here, you'll see that this one piece couples in through that, which has got some holes in the front, and the other one, this one here, lines up with that. So there may be some correlation to the frequency that's received that uh, resonates between the tones themselves may resonate between the two of these at a specific, a specific audible tone <clears throat> that the human ear doesn't detect anyway that's kind of a neat little gadget I'd be I'd be interested to know how these things work but uh, I tried looking up some information on it and there's really not a lot about it it's a, a patented technology I guess and they don't uh, there's nothing I could find on it anyway that's the inside of a Nielsen PPM personal media meter. Now if only I could put this thing back together. Not that it's going to work, but Well, there are parts back together. I'm going to put the uh, SIM card back in and put 
the back back on it. I'm liking this screwdriver already. There, that thing's back together. Now I'll just uh, I'll just call the phone number that was printed on the sticker that was stuck on here and uh, see what they want me to do with this thing that I found. Thanks for watching, and uh, we'll uh, catch you in the next one real soon. Now I'm only going to figure out how to put this thing back on. Belt clip. Can't be that difficult. There we go. There we go. There it is. Back together. But as I say, deader than a doorknob. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you later. Bye.